The trumpet is is the trumpet and trombone are very similar. Uh, a, a trombone and a trumpet are they're cylindrical. Their their bores are cylindrical, which means they're they basically the same diameter of, of tubing for the entire length until the bell. So they have a brassier sound than tubas and French horns and flute horns, which are conical, which means they gradually get larger from the beginning all the way to the end. So they're they're mellower and they sound a little bit prettier, you know, in a sense. But but I like the brightness of trumpets and trombones myself. Uh, and uh, the thing about the dif difference between a trumpet and a trombone is the trumpet is pitched an octave higher, uh, but they're, they're based with the same instrument with, with different, uh, with, of course, with vowels or without slides. So the, the trumpet C, if, you're, if you play B flat trumpet, your C sounds a B flat like the tuning note on the trombone, which I demonstrated earlier. playing that C and then playing the G below that, the G above that I should say. Now if, you, if you're beyond those notes, maybe you want to C above that so you can play C, G, C. slurring them. So when you're slurring, you just tongue the first note and the, and the lips do the rest. With a little push of air, of course. But. So I, I, you hit. See, on a, a wind column, when you put, when you blow, blow through through air, and you vibrate the the molecules of air with with your lip reed, for example, it acts the same as a string. You know how strings have harmonics? Well, there's harmonics. The harmonics are the overtones on, a, on an instrument. The, the the air column vibrates at those certain nodes, just like there's harmonics on a string. You touch the twelfth fret, you get the octave. You touch somewhere like the seventh fret, that's that's the the fifth. And then there's the third on the on like every third and a half fret or something like that, you know. So same amount of brass instrument. So if you, if you say now F sharp is all of them down for 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 instrument for uh, for transposing instruments, but that sounds an E like on a bass or a guitar string. So that E. <laughs> that's the next harmonic, or, or you know half the length is an octave higher. <laughs> There's your third and your fifth. There's your seventh. There's your, you know, your concert E. There's your G, B, G sharp, E, D, low E. You know, you know F sharp for the trump people if you're if you're transposing. But you should also know what your notes sound like. Every note, if you're reading music, is of course written a step higher than it sounds. So, um, and then if we take it up to the G or you know, concert F. The notes get closer together because as you get higher, uh, there's more overtones, there's, there's, there's more uh, harmonics as you get higher on a string or on a wind column, and then, then you get all the notes after a while, and it's just up to your lip to have the strength to do it. And, and the only way to get the strength in your lips is that's my phone, sorry. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, you know, um, is, is to practice every day, and, 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 and you know, you're not going to play high notes without learning your low notes first, because the low notes help your, help your, your ability. <laughs>
All so right. If I didn't have my low range, I wouldn't be able to do that either. But of course, I've been playing for 20 something years, 30 years, something yeah. like that. So, but you know, by all means, the more you physically play and, 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 and do it right, and, and you lose, use your air, make your stomach tight when you breathe in, give it a little pressure because you know you, you can't fill up your tire with air from a from a, from an air machine without without pressurized air. Your air isn't going to be come out if you don't have a little support here. You need to have a little pressure, muscle pressure, to, to, to use your abdomen and use that air column and use that air, your, um, your air, uh, <laughs> your lungs? Your diaphragm. diaphragm. It's, well, it's, not, it's, 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 it's your lungs in conjunction with the muscles around it that, that really help you to breathe. It's not just your lungs. Great. Right. You know, that's, that's the thing. It, music is like a sport. You have to, you know, you have to put a little into it to get something out. The horn doesn't do it by itself. Go, go look at Maynard Ferguson videos on YouTube, or or uh, or um, Tower of Power, or 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 or, or uh, you know uh, Commodores, or any, any band with horns, or um, the, the old Motown artists, or, or the great '50s and '60s oldies artists. There, there's a lot of great music out there to draw from, and, and a lot of bands today are using horns again, and mm -hmm. you know, no doubt. And, you know, David Matthews, I don't know, there's a million of them. Mm -hmm. David Sanborn is still out there playing great alto sax, and I saw him recently play, and he was brilliant. And he's just, you know, if you're going to have play music and spread some joy to the world. <laughs> That's good. Yeah, good. Good work. I am Tom Murkowski, and I am making music. <laughs>